But let's suppose the business is forecasting. The business trying to predict what's going to happen in this market or what product should we introduce or how are people going to respond to this new product. In those situations, what you can show you know, in a very formal way is that if people from different backgrounds or people with different life experiences frame the world differently, if they have different categories, if they have different causal models in their head, then they're going to make different predictions. And what you can show is those different predictions are going to combine in such a way that they're, sort of, that they're better than the individual predictions. You can sort of formally lay this out. So this isn't some sort of feel-good mantra. You know, it's literally just a mathematical fact. Most of our customers are women. So we are doctors in, uh, in India, in the hospitals, in uh, Delhi or in, in, in China. We have an increasing number of customers who are women. So it's very, very important that we connect effectively with, uh, with our customers. We surveyed our uh, partners at Deloitte uh, several years ago and asked them, have you sold to a woman in the last two years? You know, was the woman the decision maker for buying our services? 91% of them said that they had. Women are clearly part of our marketplace and they're part of our talent pool. Any organization should do that kind of analysis to understand their, their own business case for investing in women.